season your admiration for a while with an attent ear till I may deliver this marvel to you. For God's love, let me hear. Last night, upon, when yon same star that lies westward from the pole had made his course to loom that part of heaven where now it burns, a figure like your father appears before me. I know your father. These hands are not more like it. Did you not speak to him? My lord, I did, but answer made it none. It is very strange. As I do live, my honoured lord, tis true. Indeed, indeed, sir, but this troubles me. What looked he, frowningly?